Hello artist, I'm going to show you how you can make this cute little bunny that you can decorate. Um, I am going to make mine on a half sheet of paper so that I could eventually cut it out and glue it onto this nighttime woodsy forest scene that I've already painted. So if you think you want to paint your rabbit, um, think about what art materials you should use. Ask for a better paper. And again, I'm using a smaller paper. Um, also, I'm gonna draw a Sharpie. You should draw with crayon, or excuse me, pencils, so if you make a mistake, you can just erase it. Um, I'll probably go pretty fast in the video because it's just me. So if you need some time, just pause it wherever you need. So with my Sharpie, the first thing I'm gonna do is make the head, which is right in the middle, and I make a circle. And then, after I make my circle, the nose is also right in the middle, and it's a capital Y. At the top of the Y, you've got the nostrils, and then I need to make the mouth. So going from the bottom of the Y, I'm gonna make a swoosh line out, and a swoosh line the other day, or the other way, not the other day, and I will make a baby little mouth there that I can color in because I have my Sharpie. But you can always wait to do that. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add the little decoration around his face. So halfway between the top of the head and the Y-ish, put a dot. And I'm gonna also just make kind of a swoosh line down and a swoosh line down on the other side. Okay. The eyes are probably gonna look strange at first because they go off the head a little bit. And if you're coloring it with pencil, as you should be, they're gonna look like that, where there's no, it just looks silly because they haven't been colored in yet. Wait until you get your black marker. Whoa, that one's really sticking off. Then I'm gonna leave a part of them white so I make a little circle inside. Maybe that's all you get to do right now because you don't have your Sharpie yet or your black crayon or black marker or whatever it is that you're gonna color it in with. Oops, my white got covered up a little bit there. Okay, next let's go ahead and jump to the ears. So you can make them pointed or curved. I'm gonna go just above the eye. and make a big ear shape. And of course I need to do two of them. For the inside of the ear, to make it a little more interesting, go along the outsides. I'll go ahead and do both ears at the same time. Along the outside. On the inside of the ear, I'm gonna go down halfway. I'll go down halfway. And then instead of just making a line, I'm gonna give them kind of a zigzag line to make them look like they're fuzzy. On top of his head, you could put hair, you could put a bow tie, or not bow tie, you could put a bow. You could put um, a top hat, you could put all kinds of things. For this scarf, I'm gonna make a curve line down here and a matching curve line on the opposite side, or I guess the reverse of that. And I'll end the scarf. Then I'm gonna go ahead and make a rectangle-ish piece coming out like the tie. And then from the top of the scarf, I'm also gonna make a little triangle. Now, oh, I forgot about the whiskers. I'm gonna just gonna put three dots and maybe I just leave it like that. I kind of like it like that better. But if you're like, I got to have to actually see the whiskers, maybe wait if you're gonna cut this out. If you're not gonna cut it out, then just do it whenever. Same with the fringe on the scarf. All right, I'll go back up to the top of the scarf and make some straight lines down. And I'm gonna make his fuzzy little belly by just making some zigzag lines down. And that is my bunny. You can color again with all kinds of materials. Don't limit yourself. All right, everybody, happy arting today.